What's the difference from your point of view with someone who wants to make, let's say, a million dollars a year versus 10 million or 100 million, even a billion dollars? The mindset, also the mechanic of it. The, well, part of the uh, mechanics and the mindset, come up with an idea or service. If you can't be first, you got to be different. Mm -hmm. And each, if your idea in your mind can change a billion lives, i.e. like uh, Facebook, mm. okay, you'll be a billionaire or you'll be a long ways towards being a billionaire. Mm. Most most people don't understand just because they come up with an idea doesn't mean anybody else is going to like it. Mm. Okay, they, they haven't done any testing whatsoever. They haven't done any, uh, I don't like to use the word focus groups because it's overused. Due diligence. You, due diligence, absolutely. Yeah. They, they don't know. They just, their wife likes it. Maybe their cousin likes the it. The mom likes it. Yeah, yeah, the mom likes it. Uh, you know, mom likes anything that kids do. So something that it's big enough to impact millions or billions of people's lives. Correct. And now back then you were saying healthcare and telecommunication, which is also the internet. Still, healthcare and healthcare represents in America represents almost twenty percent of GDP, gross national product, and uh, the. Uh, and it's still, my, people my age don't want to die, mm. okay? Mm. So we'll spend whatever it takes. Mm. And uh, and now, of course, telco has expanded into internet, and you know every single day there's a new internet product. Mm, and, that, right. of course, now we have the uh, Google, and we have, uh, you know, all the ancillary uh, social media tools. Uh, and so now it's it's still those two areas. And of, of, of telco stroke internet, the hottest, hottest, hottest thing on the planet right now is cybersecurity. Mm. Because every time President Trump, rightly or wrongly, rattles his saber, you know, against the guy in North Korea or the guy in Syria or Putin, the cybersecurity companies go bonkers. So cybersecurity is extremely hot. And I found that throughout the, I think back then, my vision was very limited when I went to the castle. All I wanted is to, to kind of make enough money to be, uh, what's the term, lifestyle entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Just a uh, laptop lifestyle. And f after the castle, expanded my thinking. I wasn't thinking of billions, but I was thinking, oh, maybe a million and up. So I, I wasn't thinking like that big overnight. But over time, I think it shifted where it's interesting now I'm actually focusing less on the, the just the, the dollar amount, but I'm focusing on what I do and how to impact more. The money just comes. It rolls in. It just rolls in. And uh, back in those days, you weren't a, uh, a gifted public speaker like you are now. <laughs> I, I mean, broken English. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bro very not, broken English, yeah, by not, the way. Not many of these kids. <laughs> oh, back shit. Then. Oh, it was, yeah, yeah. It was bad. Yeah. It and, was fucking uh, bad. But now you've developed into a, a great public speaker, and you've got a great presence, and you're talking to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you're of the age where a lot of people listen. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a lot of people... Um, they uh, they listen to me. He's a cranky old Neanderthal, you know that does can't say a sense without saying fucking it, you know. But but the the point is, the more younger people uh, that uh, pass on the message of being all you can be, uh, the more my message really uh, is spread. And you have developed a style that resonates with the kids, yes. and the uh, and that's good. And I admire that. Uh, appreciate.